Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 561. What is pleural effusion? Pleural effusion is the excess fluid that accumulates between the two pleural layers. Pleural cavity is a fluid-filled space that surrounds the lung, so when you have excess fluid in this area instead of the normal amount of fluid, this is called pleural effusion. And this excessive amount of such fluid can impair breathing by limiting the expansion of the lungs during ventilation. Briefly, describe the difference between transudate versus exudate. We talked about the difference between transudate and exudate back in the pathology chapter, so we will highlight the facts again. Transudated fluid is the fluid that has less cell content, poor protein content, and the specific gravity is under 1.012, whereas exudated fluid is high in cellular content, rich in protein content, and the specific gravity is greater than 1.020. What are some causes that would lead to transudated pleural effusion? Transudated pleural effusion occurs in congestive heart failure, nephrotic syndrome, and hepatic cirrhosis. So in all these conditions, the transudated fluid is going through tight blood vessels. Name all the causes of exudative pleural effusion. Exudative pleural effusion occurs due to malignancy, pneumonia, collagen vascular disease, and trauma. In all these conditions, there is an increase in vascular permeability. So if you remember when we talked about exudate in the pathology chapter, we mentioned that exudative fluid and cells go through loose blood vessels. So it makes sense that exudative pleural effusion will occur in states of increase in vascular permeability. One additional thing to remember about exudative pleural effusion is that this fluid must be drained because there is an increased risk of infection. What is chylothorax? Chylothorax is a type of pleural effusion in which there is lymphatic fluid, also known as chyle, accumulating in the pleural cavity. What are all the causes that can lead to chylothorax, also known as lymphatic pleural effusion? Chylothorax or lymphatic pleural effusion can occur due to thoracic duct injury, which can happen during trauma, during cardiothoracic surgery, or due to a malignancy. Describe the appearance of chylothorax. Chylothorax or lymphatic pleural effusion has a milky appearance. This is because there is an increased amount of triglycerides in the fluid. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.